Tara now had no voice. She did not have a chance to tell the world her story. I imagine how Tara would have died. What her last thoughts would have been. Young, beautiful, a few weeks into an unwanted motherhood, trapped alone in a love that she did not trust. She was not even able to tell it to her friends or to her family, not even her mother. No one knows the truth. No one alive knew how she felt as her breath left her body. Was she looking into the eyes of her lover as he killed her? Did her brain swim with red and lay like stars as he battered her head against the wall? Or was her death something more sensual, a part of their love play? Did he tie her, blindfold her and then kiss her as he choked her to death? Part of me thought that that would have been a gift in a way, a mercy. She would have died in ecstasy, no one knows. Or was there still some way to reach her, to ask us to tell her story? Did it start tender or wild? Or were there elements of both and of secrecy and hope and romance and longing? If I leave her, I will have to stay with you full time. You won't want that. What makes you think I don't want that? Yeah, so this is part of my story, The Mad Witches of Modera. And this is about a woman who was killed in Hangwella. Uh, it's a famous uh, episode. Um, if you want to read more about it, uh, just, you know, give me a buzz. Or sort of motivate me so that I'll publish it. <laughs> How's that sound?